Good morning, my friends. It is Friday of the eighth week of Ordinary Time. And what I'd like to focus on today is, apart from God, we can do nothing. It's fruitless to try to do things apart from God. With that in mind, uh, let's look at this powerful gospel. I remember when I first read it, I thought, is Jesus having a bad day? <laughs> you know, like sometimes just things aren't going well and you're grumpy. Well, I don't think Jesus had those kind of days. There are probably days when he was frustrated with people. Um, There's probably days, I mean, obviously he never sinned, but let's look what happens. So he goes into Jerusalem, uh, it's getting late, and so they go to Bethany, which is outside uh, the city of Jerusalem. This is where uh, Lazarus and Mary and Martha uh, live. And the next day in Bethany, uh, he was hungry, and he sees a fig tree in leaf. And he goes over there and he finds no figs on the tree. But it says it wasn't time for the figs. So he could say, well, you know, why would he do anything to this tree? Because it's, it's not its time. But he says to the tree, may no one ever eat of your fruit again. And the disciples heard it. And the next day they go out and this tree is withered. It's, it's dead. St. John Chrysostom said that Jesus does this to show the power of God, that he is God incarnate, and for them to believe. Because uh, there's going to come a time when they're going to struggle you know, during his passion and death, and they're going to they're doubt, uh, as we do too. But we see the connection then. He goes into Jerusalem. People are buying and selling uh, there in the temple. He's flipping over tables and he's telling people, you know, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples, but you have made it a den of thieves. And so they're, these people are, are being fruitless because they're separating themselves for the purpose, their own purpose and the purpose of this temple. Um, and so after that, and after they see that the fig tree is dead, Jesus teaches them. He says, have faith in God. Amen. I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. The faith the size of a mustard seed, he'll say in another place, can move mountains. This is that filial boldness that we're reading in the catechism for be formed. That sense of praying and just not doubting, that trusting that in and with and through God, all things are possible. Um, do we believe that? Then he says, therefore I tell you all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it and it shall be yours. Now what this doesn't mean, so for example, uh, I've prayed that my mom would be healed and, and I believe that God can do it and she died. I did, it, it's, it doesn't mean that I don't have faith. It just means that God's will is, is something else. Um, and so for me, you know, God's teaching me how to pray in faith and trust and ultimately to say, but not my will, but yours be done. And then interesting, he says, when you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance so that your heavenly father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. So the importance of forgiveness first. Again, what we're reading in the catechism, it talks about beginning with forgiveness kind of opens our hearts to the graces of God. That's why at the beginning of Mass, we go through the penitential rite and ask for forgiveness. Um, here Jesus is saying that you're going to be forgiven in the measure that you forgive others. And so, do you need to forgive someone? Uh, are you praying with filial boldness, expecting that God can do anything, even to move mountains? Um, and are you trying to do things apart from God? It's fruitless to do things apart from God. Remain in me, he says, as he remains in the Father, and you'll bear fruit and fruit that will last. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who is your perfect reflection. He shows us the heart of the Father. Help us to trust in you, God, in Jesus and the Holy Spirit. To, to believe without a doubt that in and through you all things are possible. Help us to forgive those who have hurt us. Open our hearts, Lord, to receive your graces in abundance, to know that 
with you all things are possible. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and uh, forgive somebody that needs to be forgiven, and pray with boldness in the Lord Jesus.